Your name? Forrest Strickland. Okay. My friends call me Strickland. Okay. And you got a story to tell me. Oh, you're talking about the Ten Gentlemen Club. It was over on John I between Milwaukee and uh, East Grand Boulevard. But when Muhammad Ali came, he said there was no club in the world like the Ten Gentlemen. He had been all over the world. And he said any time he was within a hundred miles of this city, he was coming to visit the Ten Gentlemen. Everybody else saw the handwriting on the It was a private club. We had to have a key to get in. We were the first club to offer the key card. The key been The cards is keys. And they're having hotels now. We were the first club to start at that back in the 50s. Wow. When we first started. But then we moved up to John I. Well, I mean, to John I. Boulevard. And who and who were who were some of the guests? Um, you mentioned Muhammad Ali. Who else uh, visit? Was some of Motown greats or? Well, Barry Gordy had been there. Uh, four tops. Levi, Obi, all of them. Wow. Uh, Football, basketball. At that time, we had any sports was coming to the club. Uh, Dave Bing, George Trapp, prize fighters. I have to smile and laugh when I uh, mention this one. My favorite one was the young man who was the first one to beat Muhammad Ali. Who was that? Who was that to beat Muhammad Ali? Was it Alvin Blue Lewis? No. Who was it? Tam Tamership from Lost his teeth. Ooh. <laughs> Right. Leon Spinks. Wow. Leon Spinks, when he came to the club, he said to me, he said, Strickland, I'm the greatest. Wherever I go, and I know I'm ugly, but the girls come to me. <laughs> all over the world, Mexico, all over the world. And I was happy and proud to meet him. Wow. And what year did the Ten Gentlemen start and what year did it end it? Or is it still going? No, it's not going now. We started in 1957. We started on the corner of Brush and Erskine. And then we moved from Brush and Erskine ten years later. In 67, we moved to John I. The club was called the, uh, when we first opened, it was called the 13th District. We changed it to the, changed the name to the uh, Ten I'm having a senior moment. <laughs> So, um, you know, it, it originally, the original name was the Ten Gentlemen, and then in later years you changed the name when no, you moved location? No, we never changed the name. Just the location? So the, uh, we changed it to the 13th District. The 13th District, okay. And when did it close, the 13th District closed its doors? 13th District closed the door in 1966. Wow. Um, stayed there 10 years. And then but if you the was called the. Uh, uh, 